Hi, good morning. I'm still your host, Agon Samson, live from Alcotech Farms. As you all know, we bring about talk on catfish farming business in general. Um, this morning, uh, I just want to briefly talk about water quality management as regards um, catfish fingerlings and juvenile production. Yeah, over time, you hear people calling you to tell you that um, um, they usually encounter fry mortality within the first two weeks of production. And this is nothing far fetched from um, bad water quality and what water quality means is just um the the, the ph level the ha water hardness and other parameters in the water these parameters ought to be constant and um, there are some level that is um required for the survival of this catfish um lavas into fries and fries into fingerlings and so when there's high decrepancies or changes of fluctuation in these water parameters this leads to um issues of fries mortality within the first two weeks um, of their life. Now, I strongly disagree with the use of soluble chemicals to regulate other parameters like soda ash or, or um, soda bicarbonate. These chemicals, I disagree with them strongly because, um, except they are used for emergency issues, I mean cases, but for continuous use, I really disagree with that because um, they are made by different companies and are gotten from different countries and so their concentration varies. So if you are using either a scale or a teaspoon to measure whatever you are applying into your treatment tank, um, don't be surprised that even the concentration might be higher than, than the other. So by so doing, you are not going to get a kind of fixed water parameter flowing into your artery at any point in time. So the best method that is better, reliable and idealable and also result oriented is erecting a standard treatment plan for the artery. And what and what do you need to get this done and fixed in your artery to combat this issue of fry mortality within the first two weeks of production? Firstly, you need to get what we call a base tank, a 4,000 liters um, storage tank or a 3,000 liters um, storage tank. Depending on the capacity of your artery, you get a base tank and um, you need uh, a surface pump, you need the cylinders and of course your overhead tank that serves the artery. Now, so how does this work? Your water from the bowl gets directly into the base tank and from the base tank it is powered through this treatment plant, the cylinders. And from the cylinders the water moves up to the storage tank and from the storage tank it supplies the artery. By using the system you have constant water parameters in terms of pH, in terms of hardness, depending on the chemicals you have installed in your treatment plants. I don't know if you get that, depending on the chemicals you install in your treatment plant. And once the water passes through those chemicals, the parameters become constant. So the chemicals that you're installing in your treatment plant is based on what and what you're trying to regulate in your water parameters. So I advise you run a water chemistry and microbial test first before you determine or ascertain the kind of chemicals that will be installed into your treatment plant. But I can assure you, guaranteed, once this is installed perfectly, you're going to have a regular water supply to your artery and the issue of fire mortality within the first two weeks will be a thing of the past. Stay your man, your host, Agon Samson, live from Aquatech Farms. You can also contact us to get this installed in your farm. Feel free to contact us on 0062397938. And if you find this interesting, please do like and share and also comment on the comment section. And you can also comment on the comment section whatever topic you would like me to discuss as regard catfish farming business in Nigeria. Thanks for viewing. Happy viewing and stay tuned. Do have a nice day. Bye for now.